What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is Tuesday. Is there anything new? Wow, no new. So we're only going to get the three players this time around. That's sad. And no new milestones. That's sad. I've got to stop checking them first and start checking them last. Um, let's see what we've got. Sergio Aguero, Courtois, Ben Yedda. Future Stars chat. Wait, 80 plus upgrade pack. Oh, player pick pack. Okay, we can do some of those. 82 to 88 upgrade pack. Big transfers. Oh, Zaniolo. Oh, that means we are going to get another objective player. Zaniolo is going to be there. There we go. That's nice. We'll go and have a look at him. Let's have a look at what else we've got going on here. So nothing else by way of new league SBCs. I wonder if they're done with league SBCs. Let's go and see if that Zaniolo is in the objectives now. He's there. Oh, was he already there? He might have been. 86 rated. Assist. With a lob through pass using 83 overall future star Zaniolo in seven separate rivals wins. Hmm. So what do we need? Assist three goals using Serie A players will get you the 77 Zaniolo. Score two goals. Uh, will get you a one rare player pack. Assist two goals will get you one rare player pack. And assist two goals in two separate games to get the 81 right mid Zaniolo. Um, score two goals using 81 overall future stars in rivals or squad battles on professional difficulty. I like this. They did this in one of the other uh, setups a couple of days ago. I'm very, very big fan of them mixing it either within rivals or squad battles. But I also wish it would also say or champs. Let us play it for it anywhere. I'd be okay with that. But that that I like that a lot. Um, assist a goal with a cross using 81 Future Stars Zaniolo in rivals or squad battles on minimum professional difficulty. So, so far, you can do everything on rivals. So, so far, you can do everything in squad battles all the way up to this point. Um, score a finesse goal in rivals or squad battles three times for the 83 Zaniolo. And then score two volleys in rivals no win condition score and assist in four rivals wins assist with a lob through pass in seven rivals wins and assist 15 goals in rivals so there's only a couple win conditions there it's not too bad um but the card itself um is a bit interesting i want to have a look i want to go and see what he's like in um concepts because it doesn't notice about it doesn't note any upgrades on skill moves or weak foot so i want to basically just have a look if there are any upgrades on skill move or weak foot and then what the overall upgrade is really all right zaniolo uh special concept players on um right so his base card is three star three star uh the 77 is also three star three star and what upgrade is that? That's quite, that's quite a decent upgrade. The 80 right wing is a foot champion's in form from that 80 right wing. The 81 is three star, three star. Oh, God. The 83 is three star, three star. It's, that's, it's okay. And then the 86 is also three star, three star. Now, his physicals are very good. Great stamina, great strength, great aggression. His pace is good. His shooting is good in the right areas. His passing is good in the right areas. And his dribbling is is okay, not great. His defensive stats are okay as well. This isn't a great card. It's not a terrible card. It, the fact that they didn't upgrade <clears throat> skill moves or weak foot for him is a bit sad. The fact they didn't change like chem, uh, sorry, work rates or anything like that would have been nice to see. It's, it, it's a big upgrade on his 74. What have they given? 13 pace, 16 shooting, 16 passing. 12 physical, 11 defending, and 12 dribbling. It's a nice big upgrade in general. And the fact that you can do most of it in squad battles is, is quite good. Um, but this card itself isn't great. It's just good. I probably still will work for it because it's a collectible. Um, you know, I, I like that quite a lot. But in general, I'm not... Oh yeah, I don't think that's a dub. I think that's an L. Um, let's have a look what it's going to require to get these... Upgrade packs completed. Um, get rid of him and get rid of that. So the 82 to 88 upgrade is going to cost you exactly gold. That is not bad. 
what I'd be interested to see is if um is if you can get let, let let's say um let, let's say who who's like which future stars cards are there that are within the 82 to 88 threshold but aren't in that threshold as base cards so Ireland is not so Martinez is an 81 isn't he I don't think there are any, are there? There really might not be any. What's Saar? Saar's a 78. Martin, I think, isn't Martinez an 81? Yeah, Martinez is an 81. I basically want to know if you can get, like, let's say Martinez was an 82. I want to know if you can get Martinez's Future Stars card as a 92 in the 82 to 88. Now, you can't because of the fact he's 81. Um, what chemistry? Oh, we need 45 chemistry on this. Oh, damn, that might be a bit more tricky than I thought. Okay, so the chemistry requirements are a little bit strenuous. Not not crazy, but not easy either. They removed eighty three plus, so we couldn't grind the eighty two to eighty. Yeah, they, they 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 do they do not help themselves sometimes, do they? I'm just going to build one of these just to get a little test. I want to I want to look at the other one mostly. Um, let's just get uh. Get German and Bundesliga players in here. But there you go, German. That's 41 chemistry. A German striker will give us all the chemistry we need. Have we got a German striker? Surely. Okay, let's just take Argentinians then. Got two Argentinian strikers next to each other. And we'll be good there. Uh, Jara can go in there. So there's one 82 to 88. Um... You don't need UCL. The 80 plus pick is stupid requirements. So the 80 plus upgrade says player quality exactly gold. Rare or UEFA Champions League players is minimum of 10. Team chemistry is 45. So th this, guys, this is a good thing. Right? Let me explain why. When you get a rare out of a pack and it comes out as a UCL, it doesn't count as a rare going back into SBCs. What EA have done here is allow it to count as a rare. Um, so you can use either a rare or a Champions League rare, right? Which is great. Now, the problem is, is that it's 11 gold players for one player pick. Now, if there's four players to pick from, that'd be okay. But if there's less, if there's only like two players or three players to pick from, that, that's quite expensive. 10, well, yeah, 10 rares... You can get rid of a lot of your Champions League cards, sure. But th so there you go. We can use Foden, for example. Ten rares is quite extensive. Three players to choose from. I don't know if I like that. For me, that's... And I mean... Yes, it's 80 plus, but, you know, you, you could absolutely... We'll build like three or four. You could absolutely get three 80s, couldn't you? Three players did one. Got three eighty rated players to choose from. Yeah, and and that that for me is the problem. That that will, what would be frustrating. Wait, these are super juiced. Wait, Viper, you think they're juiced up? It's a scam. I got some. Wait, so some people are. Oh, you love these last time. Okay, let's let's do a couple. Let's let's build like three or four of these, and then um, and see see what we get basically. Yeah, they, they, I, I like off first call, they look really expensive. The 82 to 88 doesn't look too bad. Here's what I would say, though. The 82 to 88 is the same cost as the two rare gold upgrade pack. Now, what you get with a two rare gold upgrade pack is, first and foremost, you get two cards instead of one card. And second of all, you get no rating cap. Now, sure, you get no minimum rating cap either. But I think doing um, the regular gold upgrades is probably one one better. I know you can use one. I know this is, this is my pay-to-win account. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's lower chem. Exactly. So I think the regular gold upgrade is probably going to get you far, far more in terms of total value than um, than the uh, than the 82 to 88. And this player pick pack, I think it all comes down to luck. It's one of those ones, again, where it's like, look, on the, on the one hand... 
sure. Um, do a couple, test your luck, see how it goes. But I wouldn't be like throwing in, you know, everything that I own for this. I don't think that's going to be uh, worth it at all. Um, I, I think you're going to end up getting yourself stung if that's what you do. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to try to test out these ones here that we've got now. Uh, I want to go and have a look at... Um, what do we got? Uh, well, I want to have a look at Zaniolo on uh, on Footbin as well and see what we're, what we're saying with him. I'm going to take Casillas out of those. Um, swap that one around. It's an, a, a duplicate on trade. Well, that's fun. Next up, and this is why they're trash. Two 80s and an 81. Apps, I've just traded in 10 rares and one common for each of these players. And then last but not least, two 80s and an 81. The do not do these. Do not do these. It's it's just not worth it. Um and then last but not least, we get a um an eighty two to eighty eight plus pack. And you know, you, you can expect potentially something nice out of this, but also you could expect an eighty two. What are we gonna get? We've got a board, so we've got at least an eighty three. It's only a board, so it's an 83 to 85. It's Spanish. It's a center mid. It's uh, Fabian. So we'd, out of all... I just traded in 44 cards. What did I trade in? 13, 14 commons, and the rest rares. And I got Casillas, Fabian, Bernat, and uh, Ceballos. No, who was it? Yeah, uh, the Arsenal center mid. Yeah, Ceballos for, for all of that. That's just not worth it. Never in a million years. And again, like I know some people are going to tweet me and they'll be like, oh, I only did one and I got this and this and this. Good for you. You're lucky. The The general player will do a load of these and get absolutely nothing. Let's try our luck with a 50k pack or two. And I do want to, as I say, I want to go into a foot bin right here. Let me just open one more 50k pack. And that's pretty tough as well. Um, yeah, if, if you do a couple and you get lucky, great. But I would not sit here like grinding your club for these. I don't think it's very good at all. all. Right, 50k pack number two. This is all I'm going to open with the coins here. What do we get? No walkout. Right, so let's go on to um, onto Footbin. Just have a little look. Let's see that pack first. Yeah, trash. Let's just have a little look at Zaniolo. He's, I mean, just three star, three star. A maestro is pretty good. That that's probably going to be the best that you get out of him. Three star, three star. Sucks. He's tall, so he's heavy, so you need that agility boost. I think a maestro is going to be the one for him, but I like. It, this is just not a card that I get excited over. It really isn't. I'm just not like super gassed about it. It's okay because again, you could do most of what you get from him in squad battles there's only a couple of things that you have to do in rivals there's not too many win conditions in general um but yeah that for me is not the greatest uh card available but i'm sure some people will love it that though guys is going to be the end of the video if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rate and comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace